know this, another long table. I have to do it, though. Are we going? All right, everybody, I have, I don't even know what this thing is called. It's, <clears throat> it is designed to raise eight by four sheets of sheetrock up to the ceiling when you uh, nail sheetrock to the ceiling. I've actually done that before, and it's pretty hard. Uh, notice I'm missing one of the wheels, one of the casters on the side. You'll have to get a caster for that. And I'm also missing the little fitting that goes in the top. You can adapt this for whatever use you want because what it really is is kind of a crane. You can see I turn this wheel. Oh, wow, it goes way up there, doesn't it? You may not even be able to zoom back enough. I turn this wheel. I see it goes up and up and up. It's still going up. Maybe I need one of those. There we go. That's how you do it. I've never used one of these. I've always had to do it the old-fashioned way. Looks like I get about, what would you say, that's 10 feet? I get about a 10-foot reach out of that. That's a pretty cool tool. Um, we've not had one of these before, folks. Y'all call and tell me Harbor Freight sells this item for $280. It's called a dry panel, drywall panel hoist. Uh, 150 pounds is what it's rated for. It's missing a wheel, and it's missing the little bracket that goes on the top. You can fashion your own. Actually, I've got the sidebars. I just don't have the little H that fits down into the, into the hole there. It looks like a quarter-inch galvanized pipe is what would fit in there. I've got one of these steel-handled snow brushes. It's got a bug snow scraper on one end, a cushion grip, and it's got one of these swivel squeegee brushes on the other. This one's dusty. We're coming around the last of the supply. All right, everybody, I got a $400 coffee pot for you. This is actually a Nespresso. This is made by Nestle. And you have to buy the little coffee. They have a specialty coffee packages that you put in there. There is a condition on this. And I, uh, this right here is cracked, but it does not go through to where the water leaks. It's just on the, on the bottom ring of it, if you can see that. That's all I could find wrong with it. It's an espresso retail price. I'm sorry, $300. That's the water container. It makes espresso, cappuccino. This is the milk frother device here with a little knob on it. I don't know how to use it. Call and give me a bid on that item. I've got a stapler nailer. This is a pneumatic tool from Harbor Freight that you trigger broke. This one says the trigger is broke. Huh, doesn't look, doesn't look like there's a piece of metal that's broke. Maybe it's not catching. Maybe you could just rebuild that. $25 is what they sell this for. All right, I got a set of these swivel sockets. Now, these are swivel sockets so that you can actually tighten them up without being exactly square to the nut. Um, these are 3 8 inch drive. They're swivel sockets. It looks like they come in, oh, standard and metric. We have a nice mix for you. Uh, these are going to be... Uh, 13, 16, 7 eighths, you got a metric, a 10, 11, a 12, 13, 16, and 17. You had the numbers facing out. And they're in a metal case. Colin, give me a bit on this. All right, I actually found the instruction manual to this, this, uh, these hair relaxer kits. This is a, um, is this Ultra Sheen? Yes, this is an Ultra Sheen hair relaxer. I have another Ultra Sheen hair relaxer in here. I have, um, this is a, what's the brand name on this? Soft and Beautiful Hair Relaxer Kit. I have two of those. You get four hair relaxer kits. You also get some hair. You get a hair net or a hair wrap. And you have some frizzies, some Antonio Banderas lotion, some Neutrogena for your hands, some Pantene, some, some Pantene conditioner, and Dark and Lovely Moisturizer. All that for one money. And also on the table, I have a Chrome light fixture wall sconce. This is a hardwired wall sconce with a frosted globe. And this retails, I, I believe, for around $50. All right, the last item I want to show you on the table is going to be, looks like a hammer and nails. <laughs> yeah, I, the hammer is a framing hammer, and it doesn't have the rubber grip ham, handle. And the nails, it looks like a variety of nails. Actually, Edgar, I found a box of uh, these. And a full box that we'll be able to put on the table. It's missing a few, but I think we got enough. These are air nailer nails, obviously, but it's just a few. We've had boxes of these. I've sold whole boxes of these. So it's like a sample kit of nails and staples and a hammer, all for one money. And that should be all the items on this table. Let's go to the bitter board.
Oh, I forgot to show how this thing folds up. 